Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 100 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just killed the legendary Bloatfly, which is a big old bastard. But, right now, we're going to be completing every unmarked location on our map. And I brought us to one such very close by, which is right over here. The Elijah's Watch. That's right, I don't know. Uh, there's some spots that were places Elijah used when he was working, well, not working here, living here after being captured by the big old satellite that captured us. Uh, not a lot to see, really. Basically, all of the supplies he used, well, the leftover ones, uh, that's dog meat. Whoa. Okay, how did I miss... Uh, yeah, let's get rid of you. And that weapon is actually a little bit of a sum. We should show uh, Elijah's jury rigged Tesla can. Yeah, it's pretty fucking heavy. So we're not going to be carrying it for long. But this is a big old bastard. And it's more for energy weapons builds than what mine currently is so we're not going to be doing this uh at least right now we may come back for it just to you know get it out of the way and have it oh those were a lot of securitrons oh boy that's something i should reload whoops you missed shots there Alright, there's that one done. This guy doesn't even seem to be ready to fight. Oh, there he is. Woo! That last rocket was really close to my face. Okay. Take all this. And I'll take all this. There we go. And what does this... It's just scrap metal. Okay, I can do that. Uh, try and get something that gets rid of weight that I'm carrying. Uh, purified water. Okay. I probably need water. Yeah. I'm pretty much good on everything except water and food, and I should probably eat some food now. Now that I think about it, I might as well. I might as well. There we go. There we go. We're all good. And other than the Tesla cannon, <coughs> sorry, my voice is dying, per usual. Other than the Tesla cannon, there's really nothing that particularly special about this area. So, kinda not worth it if you're not looking for the Tesla cannon. Rushing water. That's a thing. Alrighty. That does look like it'd be good, but we ain't using jet, ever. You know what? You know how that's made? Brahmin shit. No, we're not doing that. Uh, uh no. All right, now I don't recall all the spots that we don't have marked on the map because obviously they're not marked on our map. However, we can jump around a little bit and see where there's spots that still need to be picked up. And I think Little Yanksy was by one, if I recall correctly. Maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Drink my burners while it loads. There we go. Yeah, there was one over there. And, yeah, that's the only one I can see anyway. Alright. And that one goes down, I think. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But we'll find out just a moment. Yep, that goes down. Uh, right down to there. Okay. Well, this is going to be a bit of a drop. Meteorological station. Hmm. Uh. Oh, Ooh, that hurt. That hurt a tad. Okay. The meteorological station. Is this the one? Uh, yeah, this is the one, okay. 
All right, let's see what's in here. I don't right recall. All right. Oh, a bunch of Mr. Gutsies. I remember now. This is gonna be a thing. Uh, hmm. You just made my game. Used to have a uh, different accent. Uh, at least fall out three. throwing axes. Uh, right when I can't carry a lot of things. That's it. Actually, now that I think about it, there's not much use carrying all the energy ammo that I'm that I am carrying. Uh yeah. No use carrying that. Or that right now. Uh that actually got rid of quite a bit of weight. Good lord. I should have done that sooner. Uh, try and take this one out real quick. Uh, of course. Shoot everywhere but where the thing should go. Alright. And... There we go. Nice. Now there was a thing. Usually. Huh. This is a pile of dirt, it looks like, right now. Uh, let's not pick that up. It's nothing useful. Not even scrap metal. And... Actually, I probably need to repair my gun right now. I just noticed it's quite a bit down. Hmm. Didn't expect the submachine gun to repair it, but it works. So I ain't gonna complain. Uh, so my armor definitely needs some repair, too. Good lordy Lou. Alright. And actually while I'm thinking about it, might as well pop a stim pack or two. There we go, nice. Now, there's a thing. Uh, apparently I thought that that was uh, available at first. But no, you gotta turn something on. And that would be right over here. Uh, gotta walk around this way. And get up here. There we are. Got to turn that on with this terminal here. And begin the weather test. Starts to rain. And apparently, whatever's in here first. Yep, just a bunch of scrap metal, but it's better than snow globe, a big mountain. Hey, hey nice. We got 2,000 battle caps for that. I ain't gonna complain, because that is good. And look at all that! Used to be a pile of dirt. Now it is a soggy duffel bag. <laughs> there we go. And it has quite a bit of useful shit. A couple mugs for Muggy. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Need the right away. Uh, medical brace, I guess I could use. And the finance clipboard, I can break down. Okay. There we go. Now on to one of the next pings on the radar that we have not unearthed yet. There we go. And I don't think there's many. I do not think there's actually many left. Uh, Cuckoo's Nest. Let's head over here, see if there's anything this side of the uh, big empty. Because before we confront them, I want to make sure I have everything I've seen right now. Um, hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything, really. Pretty sure I got everything. Yep. I got everything over here. Uh, yeah, the Y-17 medical facility. We'll check over here. 
We'll just bounce around every location, basically. On the uh, outer circle. Um, yeah. All the ones that I see are marked. Hmm. I guess I did see them all. Which is weird. This one I didn't. Huh. Alright. Well, let's head to the sink balcony then. Take the fight to the brains once and for all. That actually took a little bit shorter of a time than I thought it would. <laughs> nice. We might not even fight the brains. We might just end up talking them down with our superior intellect. Uh, that's what it is. Might Sir care for an aperitif to bomb the weariness of Sir's manifold journeys? Um, maybe, but right Might now... Might I be of service, sir? Let's just repair things and then sell things. Because that seems like a good idea right now. Uh, the only thing I apparently needed to repair was the drill carbine. And... Might I be of service? Yes, I'd buy some things and sell you the rest of my crap. Um, hmm. What do I buy from you? Uh, I could buy this to help repair my gun later. That'd be some. Um, hmm. I could get those. I kind of need to stock up on those rounds more. Once again. Because I'm thinking of bringing that gun back as well. Huh. Well, at least, maybe not for me, maybe for a, uh, someone I'm running with. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, huh. Could have sworn there was more I could get. Huh. Well, crap. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, let's just drop the stuff we do have that we don't need. Um... This is gonna be a while. Uh, do. Oh yeah, I wanted to keep these. I couldn't find Mobius's glasses. I'll, I might do that on my own time. Then show off the uh, little look of them for you. Uh, hmm. uh, that one. Uh, he's. Uh, I'm not getting that much back for it. So I might as well try and get something. Hmm. No, I'll try and go for that. There we go. That works. And so all these because I ain't using them. Um, keep all the things that don't have weight. Uh, too many things. Too many things. Uh, don't really need that many stealth boys. To be perfectly honest, we do not. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all we really need. Cool. So, uh, I'll do a little inventory management. Give me just a moment. Alright, I think I am good. And as good as I can be, considering. Just need to pop a stim pack, I think, for my health. And might as well drink a Sunset Sarsaparilla. It's been a while since I had one. Alright, and I have to reconnect with some of my body parts. I remember now. Uh, I have to go to the auto dock for that. There we go. You require some additional services? Yes. Uh, engage your services. Let us uh, swap the body parts. Uh, reattach my spine. A reinforced spine perk. There we go. Your spine is back in your body, but some advanced technology remains. Your torso can now be crippled again. My brain just froze there for a moment. But your strength has damage threshold bonuses have doubled. So now I have double the strength bonus. Not looking hard enough. Shut up. Okay. Anyway, and the heartless perk I do kind of like a lot, so I'm not going to swap out the heart part. But... I think I have the other perk that I wanted. Brainless. Uh, I have my brain, though, don't I? I thought that was an item that I have. 
Yeah, your brain. Okay. Your original spine used to float here. Based on any other tanks in the room, you can safely assume this is where your brain would be floating. Yeah, that, that's all good. Okay. I thought I could pop the brain back in my head, but apparently right now that's not the case. So, now we'll deal with the think tank. Uh, I might need to pop a few things. Dr. Klein awaits. Make sure you're prepared to finish this once and for all. Uh, yeah, I'm doing that right now. Um, open the medicine. Okay, let's see what else we can do. I just want to add some more party time Mentats. Fuck. Okay, I guess I don't. Well, Mentats in general will be fine, I think. Uh, yeah, there we go. Meeting people. Uh, Programmer's Digest. Uh, what are my skills looking at right now? My science skills are actually pretty good now. Uh, Lockpick. Strange how that's not finished yet. I could have sworn that was. Okay. Yeah, everything else is pretty damn good. Alright. And what else? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I really need. Cool beans. Let us go. Deal with the brains. Okay. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has uh, Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped not exactly you may have noticed the pacification field is down guess what that means i think that starts the fight so uh, i found my brain now you and i are going to settle things i recommend watching your tone with me lobotomite how about no now your brain hand it over or we'll extract it again uh-huh with what? Your no hands? <laughs> okay, I'm not handing my brain over. There's some things we should discuss. Uh, yeah. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. How about no? With it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. That's, that's my computer. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't remember my computer having that on. Uh, shit. I could have sworn my speech was closer to full. Uh... Maybe you should confer with your colleagues first. Nonsense! Confer? Colleagues? Those are two words I do not recognize. Uh-huh. Dr. Klein, I must intersect. Please, do not harm the lobotomite. I'm not going to harm it. I'm going to dissect it until it's dead. It's the same thing. Why the sudden intersection, Dalla? I cannot stand a breathing, a sweet breathing organism, breathing in and out to suddenly not breathe. We must keep it alive for study, a slow study. Gala, these vocalized pauses are unlike you. What do you care? Fine, uh, you know, this lobotomite, it's a great sounding board. You respect ideology, right? This one's... well, it's... got good ideas. Thank you, Doctor. Silence, Doctor O. This is a think tank decision. Save your objections until after I have decided our course of action. You know what, Klein? Stick a straw in your tank and suck yourself. <laughs> Long and deep. <laughs> and my name nice. is Zero. Yeah, there you a go. big fat zero with a slash through it. There you go, stand up a for yourself. Slash man. as a designator. Why, that is brilliant. But how did you. The lobotomite taught me that. Taught me a name is more than. Um. That I should take pride in. 
things like names. Yeah, you're doing so well, man. You know what? Forget it, Klein. I hate you. And your theory of Bringle Beam Oscillation? The Chinese had it first, you copycat. Ooh. How dare you? Brainial beam oscillation was solely my discovery. I expressly told you that and deleted all evidence to the contrary. Yep, that sounds like Tumblr, all right? It's two, eight. Why are you acting like this? You've never refused to commit necessary surgery before. And this lobotomite needs its surgery. It's kind of debatable. And they seem to think the opposite. This is gonna knock him down a couple notches, so this is gonna take a while. So bear with me. A noble speech, but there is no room in my vocabulators for friend and lobotomite in the same sentence. The very concept! <laughs> Revolting. Perhaps you are irradiated with camaraderie radiation. Camaraderie. We have chems for that. We can save you from your emotional addiction. That's kind of rude. If I may, I feel as if I must be the voice of reason here. There this lobotomite is much like us. Regarding even animals and pets is nothing more than avenues to promote science. Entirely, there is good okay. here. Instead of ending its life on the table, we should prolong its suffering in the name of science. Like good old Gabe, the finest of lab specimens. Why am I even listening to you fools? Enough of this mutinous chorus. If there's a word I hate, it's mutiny. And the word jism, which never made any sense to me. It's ridiculous putting j and zm together like that. Nonsense! Okay. I count as five. Like the mighty human hand I once had, with its five penises clenched in a fist. Fingers. It sounded to me like your math is wrong, and the, are, and the odds are not good. Nonsense! The mathematics of this situation are on our side, lobotomite. I believe... No, wait. Hmm. Carry the two, and then... Uh -huh. Hmm. If this were a democracy, I would be concerned. We are too scientific for that. So just surrender. Yeah, it's not a democracy, it's a research facility. And over half your colleagues dispute your findings. You Suck dare use that. logic against me? Yeah. I do. Here's the deal. I'm not gonna surrender. You are. That's no deal at all! There's a whole world beyond the crater, filled with ideas and possibilities! Uh -huh. We could have escaped, seen it all for ourselves, tested it, prodded at it, made it squirm. You can still do that. Here, quietly, for me. Or, hmm. I can bring the Mojave, this world, to you. You'll be safe, and you'll still be able to experiment. For you? And for science? Yes. I have a strange sensation that I would like that. How odd. Very well, partner. The think tank is at your service as long as you do not destroy us. I have no real plans for that. Alrighty. <clears throat> now, we simply leave the think tank. And at the conclusion of this, it will be the end of the episode. Give it just a moment. As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The Courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discovery safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit was impressed by the amount of exploration the courier had undertaken. Facilities believed lost, 
destroyed, or ones that had simply gotten up and walked to new locations, had been rediscovered by its intrepid new master. Mm -hmm. Internally, the artificial personality debated as to whether it preferred the old management to the new, and concluded that the courier's thorough approach to research and investigation was admirable and worthy of its respect. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The Biological Research Station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. One of them eventually transferred to the Lightwave Dynamics plant and began a long, unrequited affair with one of the holograms. The sink continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the magnetohydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however, it gained new purpose. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. <laughs> Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups. Although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Higgs Village. It might have been the end for poor Muggy. Except he found it peaceful there, tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. <laughs> Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind I.O. Jefferson eventually discovered a new sound. Silence. It only made him more filled with the blues than before. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Well, I gotta go. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical. 
Kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre were bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. Mm -hmm. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. The courier, organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be, after all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts, and the courier's brain was more clever than most. Dr. Klein and the think tank remained alive, unaware of the world outside. They looped through their daily routine, none the wiser about the world beyond, although perhaps wiser was the wrong word. Maybe. The world outside belonged to the courier. And if anyone would shape it, well, the courier had already called dibs. There is an expression in the wasteland, old world blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues, and new world hope, and hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more. But the stories in the big empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the big empty one by one. The sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. lost the brainless perk. You have gained the big brain perk. Your brain is back in your body, but some of the advanced technologies remain. Your head still cannot be crippled, but you're only 10% more, more resistant to addiction now. Surprisingly, your damage threshold has improved 10%. Alright. And the big mountain transportal ponder, which will transport me back and forth from the Mojave and Big Mountain. And 
basically that's about it. It's just a basically a Huzzah, sir. Huzzah. Huzzah, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, that is the end of the episode here for right now. That dragged on for quite a bit. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. 100 probably. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.